To solve for x in this exponential problem, we're going to need to apply some basic laws of indices. The first thing we need to do is apply the law of indices that says if you have the same base, for instance, in a product of numbers like this, you can simply pick one of the bases and add the powers. So to apply these laws, we pick 5, which is the base, and then add the powers x, x, x together. This will then give us 5 raised to power x plus x plus x equal to 10. This is 5 raised to the power 3x equal to 10. How do we then solve for x at this point? We we'll need to take the logarithm of both sides. Let's take the logarithm to base 10 of both sides. This way, we can now transfer 3x to the back. So we have 3x log 5 base 10 is equal to log 10 base 10 is 1. So this gives us 1. Then we can say divide both sides by log 5 base 10 this will get rid of this and this so we are left with 3x is equal to 1 over log 5 base 10 According to the law of logarithm, if you have, for instance, the logarithm of A base B, this can also be expressed as 1 over, you take the reciprocal of the logarithm, but change A here becomes the base, and then whatever is here becomes what used to be here. So this will simply be log b base a so if we are going to walk backwards with this 1 over log 5 base 10 it means that 3x is now equal to log 10 base 5 so either this or this is still the same thing but i'll go with this therefore 3x is equal to log 10 base 5 and to get x we we'll now need to multiply both sides by 1 over 3 multiply both sides by 1 over 3 so that you now have x on the left hand side is equal to 1 over 3 log 10 base 5 this is our final answer and we can still break down 10 itself if we want to 5 times 2 and then separate by law of logarithm but we can leave our final answer here as x is equal to log 10 base 5 all over 3. So how do we check or how do we confirm that this our solution is correct? We will then need to insert this value into the equation we started with, which is which is this. So let us put this value for x into here. We should get 10 if our solution is correct.
So we can express this as 5 raised to power transferring 1 over 3 to here. So we have log 10 raised to power 1 over 3 is 5. 5 raised to power 10 raised to power 1 over 3. 5 raised to power 10 raised to power 1 over 3. And according to logarithm, as long as this number right here is the same as this number right here, the result of this first uh, term here is 10 raised to power 1 over 3. So we have 10 raised to power 1 over 3. The same goes to every other 10. 10 raised to power 1 over 3. 10 raised to power 1 over 3. So this is equal to 10 raised to power 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 which is equal to 10 raised to power 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is simply 1 and because 10 raised to power 1 is 10 our final answer is 10 which confirms that our solution is correct thank you for watching hit that like button subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video